Welcome back. So, uh, all, Velma's roll neck sweater said, also I'm wondering if this is the Brahmastra, the weapon used in the Hindu texts, text, was said to be capable of destroying universes as part of the Hindu creation story and is said to be used to defeat Ravana. So, uh, let me read this other one too. Uh, a link, uh, which it does uh, definitely, I think it allows YouTube links on, and only YouTube links, I believe. Uh, it's the churning of the ocean of milk. Similarity being a serpent wrapped around a central column. The Hindu texts tell a story that is about as in line as could be to the use or deployment of a power, powerful weapon that causes a great disturbance. So I started checking this out. Uh, here's an image of it. Uh, But, what happened? Here it is. Here we go. But, before I get to that, I posted the video, and then I, I was like, why don't I just save this? So I could zoom in. So this time, I'm going to zoom in and go through some things again, and see if I can add some detail this time because I spent a little bit more time looking at this today after my initial reaction to it. Okay. So, uh, starting down here, overall, there's the vortex creation zone up here, and then the energy fueling zone down here is kind of how I interpret it, I guess like the engine region and the axle type like mechanism to drive the device that then connects to the device itself in essence <coughs> okay so there's i swear something is on my arm but it doesn't seem to be um uh. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's go through this. Starting at the engine zone, that's why like this I kind of interpret as being an inlet fuel that comes in through a channel that then seemingly like in interacts with whatever's going on here <clears throat> and then it goes up here it seems so i was i was thinking about it this here this seat region it's kind of like a plug like it looks like a plug so if we envision like by plugging this hole, the container down here becomes sealed. And then maybe even like applying a pressure of a weight of a body, like dry, like maybe the forces generally here are related to like a intentional downward force I don't know <laughs> or about or maybe not intentional downward but like an intentional angle because I don't think it would be downward exactly it might be more like that to like create some imbalance I don't know I, I didn't think about that yet, but um, here I noticed a flame type thing and another flame type thing. So I figured maybe some type of current flow 
down here also current flows so this this region going up into here and then this being some kind of like container that just anything that goes beyond the boundary is kind of like held up here and I know in this drawing it doesn't show these very much like swirls but these ones these look like vortexes here more so than as they look here they're, they I mean they're kind of the same but maybe the color it's something with the color makes it like they kind of don't just like connect to the body and flow with the body. I don't know. So my, my thought is maybe like a positive negative vortex is induced here, which then causes flows out this way somehow that then fills these chambers and presses on this boundary, causes it to flow up here. Maybe this, like, goes up to here and, like, holds the boundary. I didn't consider that before. Like, it, at least to a degree, like, it is meant to bend in a way where it angles with it. I don't know. Where the, over here becomes, like, a swirling flame from the source side over here, I don't know. Although it's probably going through both sides. Also this here is kind of like, it's like a leaf. I know it's green, so maybe I'm interpreting it, these things with color in my mind, where they're not drawn that way. So the color is not necessarily, like, this doesn't necessarily match this, so to speak, <clears throat> where, like, this maybe is a flame, but maybe this is not a flame, even though it kind of maybe also could be some type of flame, I don't know, or, like, a eruptive column, like a spine, I don't know. But so then the current swirlingly, I guess, I, presumably down here, although maybe not, uh, is caused to and put basically transmit energy into this uh, tuning fork thing that then presumably to create a vortex and doesn't just like go back and forth but swirls which then like stirs subtle energies within it at a resonance that this induces so as to actually be able to interact with really subtle energies that are in great abundance. <clears throat> so I was also thinking maybe the person here isn't even a person, but like a representation of some fundamental aspect of sort of like Nefertiti and the Birdman have like physical representations on the earth. Where maybe his shape is based on current flows. 
there's all he also has this, which made me think that maybe he's related to current flows. <clears throat> maybe like the head of the energy is over here, the feet is over here. So it's like the shallograms will have a positive, uh, large side and a negative, small side that are just like standard of how the energy flows occur. Like, let's get a, let's get a good one. Small, large, just standard how they occur. I know if you don't accept or un or know of what any of me talking about, how shallograms are not fossils, it's a little confusing. I'm trying to find the one of them that's like nearly perfect circles. Here's a good representation. It doesn't matter. Point is, maybe something of that nature with the body, just like down here, positive negative swirls, but more like of a body of energy. Maybe, like, here's where the body of energy is being transmitted to, which then transmits through this column that then... There's lots of features, so like this, I was thinking, in three dimensional three dimensions how could this work and it occurred to me when i looked at this like maybe maybe this thing right here is like a top down angle of the device where like these things are like go around like this is showing the innards like this uh, this segment i guess i don't know if that makes sense but i was thinking where it basically it has four sides with like chambers to each side that then the thing that bends out isn't the whole length so it bends out and has some other layer to like keep the two layers as they bend out like contained but still a flexible something of that nature <clears throat> where like the blue section here, teal section, the the stopper, the stop the stopper is may may I was thinking maybe these or or maybe this, but I I would think this would be how the stopper would be, so that it basically filled the region of the hmm. I don't know just a thought I had with that also uh, the bird wing I didn't notice that aspect it's literally got the vortex with the bird wing like at the vortex and then the general serpent type shape coming off of it with the dragon head He's got all the features there, and then off of the dragon head, what is going on here? Its tail goes down. I 
I wonder if it's like represents like Hawaii. I don't know. Like literally a particle with constituents that are separated. I don't know why there'd be two uh, similar ones, so maybe not. They're similar, but angled opposite also. <clears throat> okay. Oh, this thing. I wonder... Like, that one and that one, I feel like, are for a purpose of some important cross-section, literally. I find it a little odd these are identical. I guess they're not, if these are accounted for, maybe these have a meaning, like the way these are, like before it was like this, the vortex goes into the balanced earth almost, and then the earth transitions to become like this, and then it is still the earth, but now it has these new constituents that have bonded to specific locations. I don't know. This is, the dragon is wearing a necklace. With something on it. This one's got a swirl, and this one's got a full-blown dot. I wonder if that has meaning, some purpose. Okay. So, that was that. So back to this. Let's just do that search churning of the ocean of milk images it's called uh, it's called the sumadra manthana so maybe now would be a good time to point out my actual knowledge of hinduism and scripture in its totality like literally off a cliff <laughs> I did basically focus the Dwarka searches because I was just casually looking into all sorts of things and came across underwater ruins west of Dwarka that were suggested to be of modern day Dwarka, that were suggested to be ancient Dwarka, which then made me realize that ancient Dwarka was a thing. At which point I began to look into it, but I also literally start, just looked at the website. I was like, you know, there's a really good bathymetric website. This one that I just. new <laughs> I 
had a good like bath bathometric data. And I went here and looked along the coast and I mean it's just glaringly present immediately. I was like that's Dwarka. <laughs> Also, there's this. I don't know what to make of this. I want, maybe it's Rhodes. Maybe it's Rhodes, but also maybe it's not Rhodes. I don't know what to make of it. I don't know what to make of it. But there's that, too, right next to it, which is interesting. And really along this whole length, it seems to go. It may be... It, it literally may be truly a remnant of the data or an artifact of the data kind of thing but like I don't see that that frequently and when I do it's weird like let me show you somewhere else real quick I believe it's here somewhere. Where is it? I hope it, hopefully it's this map. I believe it was in this basin. It might be oh there it is. There it is. Bunch of little dots and then just really really grid like I, I I could see someone just saying that's the data but also I don't want to just conclude that I don't know what that would be though like that's way orderly but then it has this like stretch that goes over here, goes over here, goes through here, and then suddenly we start seeing this. Now, is this a remnant of the data? Like, what is this right here? Plus this, plus this, plus this. That looks like a city grid. <laughs> I was like, where are we looking at? Okay. We were just checking out over here, though. You can kind of see it here, too, honestly. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, that. 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 Like here. 
That's incredible. I kind of forgot about this. I don't. I mean, maybe it's not a street or a city, but like even he, like right here, it's got like a four roads intersecting at forty-five degree angles, kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> like it's a little weird although although no, admittedly this is doesn't make sense with that here and then this like may, I guess maybe it does I mean it, it just looks like a city though It makes me think, honestly, well, I guess we couldn't, we probably wouldn't have built a city like that. I mean, it's freaking huge. How big is this? Can we measure? Let's measure. It's 500 kilometers, whatever's going on here. Thereabouts. It's a little too big to be a city. Let's let's measure this. Or I was trying to measure this. Like here, I guess. So it's really not that long. This. Measure, like here to here. Like this would be on the order of like I guess like twenty thirty kilometers here like across by twenty thirty kind of size oh yeah what am I doing it's literally right here <laughs> like I need to measure so it's probably about twenty kilometers across that's pretty huge I don't know what to make of it. Is this literally how they... Like, it doesn't really seem like boats could possibly do this. If you think about it from a boat standpoint. Could it... I mean, is it satellites? That doesn't make sense either. Like, what in the hell reasoning is there for this? Uh, my best guess is it literally was a city like i don't know what else to think of it honestly if someone has a better explanation um all ears it could also be i guess naturally formed like that's another alternative that i'm willing to consider and curious about i'm very curious about what is going on here how this is here if it's there it's not just in uh bath in a tree it's in the Google Earth. Let's check Bing Maps. I don't know. Bing Maps. Not now. How do we get satellites? Aerial. Really don't see it whatsoever here, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. It would be here. It's most visible there. I guess we see that and this. It's pretty limited, but so is Google Maps, honestly, compared to this. Like, how would no one have noticed this and be like, guys, what are we going to do? Like, <laughs> it probably happened in the world when people were like, shh, keep it down. <laughs> <laughs> people running the show, maybe, I don't know. 
It looks way too straight to be a city, though. Like, what, like they didn't be build it with any curvature whatsoever. And it's n and not just a city, but, like, a grand city. This is huge. I was thinking, like, it could have been built after the flood and then co literally collapsed. Unfortunately. I don't know. I was just trying to think why it would happen, but like at this location, it kind of makes sense, honestly, because there was a current flowing in pretty much this way. I believe, like flowing this way, but then in through here. And so it's probably undercutting this region here enough where it physically could not be supported anymore, so maybe it fell in, I don't know, and people had built there. Oh my god, which reminds me of this freaking weather in California. This is like, the days of ridiculous rain, and now they're getting snow. Like, it, literally, this is what, like, my thoughts are, is, like, some of this... It's kind of like the, like this. I shouldn't even say it because then I put like it like this. It's kind of like that, like that. Like we're up here, we're all the way across here, but like we're also right here, like right at the edge. And there's water like up to here, and there's also like some another layer out here but like what's down here is not as dense as what's up here so it can like fall into it and the like voids can fill or exist which probably happening in that region i also wonder if like people know like people like the 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 powers that be, especially the UFO powers that be, like the actual God consciousness beings present among us, I would say. Uh, have been, like, monitoring it, and maybe that's why they go into, like, San Diego. Like, they're seen around San Diego a lot, probably because they're like, oh, dudes. I know we're not supposed to intervene, but they're fucking living on it, dude. It could fall any day. What, how, how long? How long? Okay, we're safe for a little longer, dude. We keep it. Okay, that store all it dumped all this water on top. Like, no, that's what my thought is like, dude. And like, why is it doing that? Maybe it's exchanging energy to like. I don't know. I don't know why it would dump snow and like cool. Like maybe it's just a flow of magma, but I don't know why that would be related to some kind of underbelly support structure issue. Sorry for the dark words. I don't, honestly, I mean, if it's, it's maybe, I guess it's probably all a show. I really would like it to be just like truly, I, what I would like it to be, honestly, is bravo, kudos to the Jews for not just running like a Hollywood show, but a real world Hollywood world sh Hollywood show where everyone who chose like a certain degree of willingness to do some type of detrimental thing to society was like in on it <laughs> like, like the the smirk on bill gates's face sometimes where he's like like what in the like why why would someone behave like that unless they maybe knew like underneath it all like it's all we're all just 
waking each other up to some truth that that's what's really like why all the everything is happening and someone knows i don't know i would like to believe that and it's not like the side where like there's truly bombing like i know how ridiculous that is <laughs> like to think like i saw oh my god like I, I, we all, we all just play it. Honestly, I think it's on my Twitter. 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 Palestine, Gaza, girl. Not that one. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. Maybe that's not the best search. Twelve-year-old girl. Okay then, so that's what's gonna happen, and guys. If I start, so like that's what's happening. Like, is that? That's the thing. Like, is that? Is that the kudos, bravo, nicely played kind of Hollywood thing, or is that like real as fuck, dude? You know what I'm saying? I would like it to be. Wow, all this time, all that effort, holy, just to like. This is crazy. Oh, this actually, let's check this out real quick. This is from Bass Outdoor, I guess. I don't know. Uh, penguins, another sh penguin over here. <laughs> Runs out across that. And then this starts fracturing back here, slides off. Sliding off. He's like, oh no. <laughs> Pardon me, sir. Uh... <laughs> slide. Belly sliding in and they belly slide to pull up. Anyway, but the, what I thought it was so cool because it, I was like, wait a minute, look at this. This sharp tooth. This chunk, like flowing away sharp tooth sharp sharp tooth like rounded segments kind of like how arrows uh <laughs> 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 also that's going on on Estonia's Independence Day, the United States basically terrorizes them and says, you are dependent on us. Here she is. Lethal that she knows English, dudes. Fucking. That's what. Anyone in Gaza and Palestine that knows English. Oh my god, it's so. Uh, I'm only 10. I can't even do anything in this war. Well, I'm only 10. I don't want to play it anymore, but you get the point. Like, literally living in this. Like, what the. What are they supposed to do? Is this real? Or is this all truly, like, upper echelon Freemasonry 33rd? Whatever. <laughs> and, like. She's in on it. Like, I, I don't know. Like, they paid her off. Oh, we're, we're okay, we're going to destroy this building. Everyone gets paid off. Like, I don't think that's... I don't, I don't think that's what's going on. But I would like to believe that, the, like, it's flat earth. And, like, all, like, it truly is a Truman Show thing. And...
you guys let me know what the truth is. I mean, everyone I've, like, interacted with, with that type, like, confronted, but, like, obviously, if that was the case and you guys didn't want to let me know, you just wouldn't. So, <laughs> like, it was truly a conspiracy. <laughs> The greatest conspiracy of them all. <laughs> uh, okay, so this though, I th I it made me think of the snake squeezing the earth and like causing it to swell, kind of thing. I guess so. Maybe. <clears throat> This is what I was kind of getting at with the Hinduism, and the th essentially, I'm fairly certain, like that the process was that Dwarka was attacked by a vortex weapon. But really, what it says is, is that it was attacked by certain weapons, and I'm not really sure of what their capacities are. And then it says. A fierce vortex arose, which maybe or maybe not was caused by the directly. Like, it could be that some chain of events, like the churning of the ocean of the milk, of milk led into the like moment in time where Dwarka was attacked which was simultaneous to this like vortex emerging proximal I don't know enough about the overall narrative I haven't gone into it it's so much to look into and like given that I'm looking at Geology, physics, across time, the Bible, the Quran, literally just like all sorts of things, world events. I'm just all over the place. It's very hard to like focus a single topic that has the like content of Hinduism, which maybe is. <laughs> at this point becoming kind of how my videos are bur too burdensome like that it's too much it's like almost hard for people to see the sheer breadth of my work and so it is with Hinduism that I d I'm literally not aware of the sheer breadth of the stories the, that are passed down of what happened not stories but of the I guess narratives the the sacred uh, like resonance of things that is the Hindu scriptures I guess in some way definitely focus Dorka, so I'm open to the possibility that there's more nuance in ways and I'm just like, at this point it's just kind of pondering and speaking my thoughts aloud for as we go okay uh, let's check this out though uh, the Sumadra Manthana, Churning of the Ocean, is a major episode in Hinduism that is elaborated in the Vishnu Purana. Which is one of the 18 Maha Puranas. Which the Sumadra Manthana explains the origin of the elixir of eternal life 
am Rita of immortality nomenclature Sagara is another word for a samudra, both meaning a sea or large water body. S the ocean of milk or milky ocean, ocean or sea. So certainly there's a release of water when uh, the earth expanded. <clears throat> Let's go on, though. Uh, legend. Indra, the king of Svarga, was riding on his divine elephant when he came across the sage Durvasa, who offered him a special garland given to him by Apsara. The deity accepted the garland and placed it on the trunk. Sometime the tusks or the head of the elephant in some scriptures. Also, before I forget, I was scrolling through... Disney Plus to see if there's anything I wanted to watch with my parents. Like, I haven't checked these out in a while. I know Black Panther I still need to watch, but then I found a Bollywood film called Brahm, Brahmastra, which I thought was interesting. <laughs> the, the timing, I guess basically a movie about the subject matter that I'm interested in. Like, sweet. And part one of what seems to be a series. And so I don't, I don't know. That's the thing. It's so much information. So it, it, would, it would be cool to have literally in Bollywood movies just to introduce the concepts, even if they're not like truly representing the narrative in its complete and intended sense. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever what actually happened, I guess. <laughs> Even then, like, it still introduces the, the gist of it and provides an angle of interpretation to then just have like an entry point I guess like okay like this is this chain of events <laughs> like broadly speaking at least I think he, even uh, movies can uh, like portray generally uh, things of that nature the bit the like the things that are like well established as talking points in Hinduism culture would be captured pretty well, is, I guess. Anyway. Um, deity accepted the garland and placed it on the trunk. Sometime the tusks or the, or the head of the elephant in some scriptures of Arivada, his mount, as a testament to his humility. The flowers had a strong scent that attracted some bees. Annoyed by the bees, the elephant threw the garment on the ground. This enraged the sage as the garment, the garland, garland, garment, garland was a dwelling of, of Sri Fortune and was to be treated as a prasada or a religious offering. Darvasa cursed Indra and all the divas means shiny, exalted, heavenly being, divine being, anything of excellence. So probably like gods or like the... That's how I interpret it, I guess. Maybe... Basically, it seems like there's two groups of... In the same way as today, there's a balance where there is a group that is seen as the divas and a group that is seen as the asuras. Asuras. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, 
cursed Indra and all the Divas to be bereft of all strength, energy, and fortune. In the battles following the incident, the Divas were defeated, and the which I take to be like the fallen angels, I guess. Asuras, led by Bali, described as the anti-god, titan, demigod, led by Bali. Maha Bali, also known as Bali, is a Daicha king featured in Hinduism. And gained control over the three worlds, which I would take to be... my The way I thought of it when I just read it without looking at their, the meaning was the physical world the mental world and the spiritual world so they they like forced a religion forced a took control of the physical world and forced like an ideology and it just Like a way of spirituality, I guess. A way of connection to one another and viewing one another in spirit and being... Or just even viewing one another rather than one. <clears throat> the divas, so like, the, I guess the angels and the fallen angels, maybe. The divas, angels, asuras fallen angels uh yeah. so The divas sought Vishnu's wisdom, who advised them to treat with the Asuras in a diplomatic manner. The divas formed an alliance with the Asuras to jointly churn the ocean. Oh my God. To jointly churn the ocean for the nectar of immortality. <laughs> <laughs> the divas so the gods and the fallen angels based on my interpretation thus far I'm just like guessing because I don't know enough information about this subject matter to overlay it with like appropriate connection points maybe but that seems to flow so far and I'm just going from that and if it continues to like zip together that would be super duper uh, the divas formed an alliance to jointly churn the ocean for the nectar of immortality and to share it among themselves However, Shiva assured the divas that he would arrange for them alone to obtain the nectar. Or Vishnu. Did I say Shiva? It's kind of odd. It's almost deceptive. Like, I feel like deceptive practices would be avoided by. Vishnu and I guess they they just they do the deceptive practices with regularity it seems like shape shifting like one of them I think Vishnu even shape shifts pretends to be someone else has intercourse with a newlywed 
as that person dies because some aspect of <laughs> like I don't know some, something and then he's like I'm Vishnu and she's like alright I'm also this you're like the the wife of Vishnu I guess which is like it's just very odd like <laughs> I don't know what to make of that kind of thing Like, they want to just, like, get good together. <laughs> oh, damn. My mom didn't find that. She found that funny. She was like, <laughs> Turning the ocean of milk is the fifth from the center of the five ocean or of the seven oceans. It surrounds the continent known as Krancha. According to Hindu scriptures, scriptures, the divas and asuras work together for a millennium to churn this ocean in order to acquire Amrita, the elixir of immortal life. According to Hindu scriptures, okay, yeah. it is spoken of in the Mad Samudra Manthana chapter of the Puranas, a body of ancient Hindu legends. The Kshira Sagara is described to be the place where the deity Vishnu reclines over his serpent mount Shesha, accompanied by his consort. Lakshmi, there's the, that's the one. Oh, oh, that's the name. Oh, I see. <laughs> The place where the reclines, I mean, so basically where the under, my interpretation is where the undercurrents flowed with like <clears throat> layers down, maybe the fifth from the center. Working blah, 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 described to be the place where the deity Vishnu Milk, ocean, water, water, ocean. <clears throat> Site of the legend of the Samudra Manthana. Which could be the place in Pakistan, I don't know. Oh yeah, that, that brings me back to... Uh, Some of these I like, hear we can we can kind of see it like petals, especially on this side like a lotus petals. Let's, there's a bunch of them. Let's go through them. There's there's this one. Not sure what to make of this one cuz uh just want someone dancing in the center with a sword and a disc type structure I don't know what to make of this one but there's a bunch of them, so like here's the, here's another. This one looks to have a flower on it. F flower. Also, there's the tortoise at the base. Tortoise at the base. Uh, 
and then this column. Tortoise at the base. <clears throat> so I was thinking maybe, maybe, I mean, I've described Mount Gernar as being kind of like a lotus leafed. Like, especially here, the way this is. Maybe up that way. Kind of like a lotus flower. And basically, Mount Gernar, I believe, ba essentially energetically can goes down to the, I guess, the moho, and then it goes up. My thought is generally connects over to the mantle puncture hole in some way. I don't know if that's the case, but maybe, in which case it would kind of be like an a like a fractal emission upward that then like the earth is getting squeezed, but then like smaller smaller mountains emerge or large smaller mountains emerge. One is like the mantle puncture hole and then uh, the next one up is even smaller but it's and it's Gernar I don't know like this is a fractal on top of the whole earth this like node almost and that then connects I feel like it connects through, I don't know why there's not more of a structure that I can point to. Because it seems like a terminal that energetically would have connected through, but maybe, maybe not. Here's a, here's a picture of Gernar. Um... Gernar here. There's this one. Here's Gernar. Gernar. And then depth of 50 kilometers, so around 40, 45 kilometers around Gernar. This, like, region of this wall just sp spreads out all the way down to the Moho. And someone else later, subsequent research referenced, that references that one actually drew it more like this, where it goes down, so notice distance, zero. So basically 60 to 180, so 120 kilometers across. Down 10 kilometers is just this mound here. But then its root goes down like this. That's why I think like it then has some kind of structure feeding over, like a like a channel to the mantle puncture hole. But I don't know because it's just such a substantial structure. Like it's literally it looks it looks unassuming, really, relatively speaking. Like it's. It's cool. It's certainly, it's certainly a cool mountain if you look at it. Like here, let's measure. Here, oops. to here. Seventeen kilometers versus a hundred and twenty or more, really. Who knows? I don't know how far this goes. Like maybe it also has a structure like that over this way. 
Amrelly. Which way is Amrelly? Over here. So going across like that. So maybe it kind of just stops over here in the image there. So it's possible there's a Gurnar aspect to it. It's possible like all of this is the cumulative effect of the whole of the Hindu scripture like storyline and I've misassociated the vortex. Like it, it makes me think of like for instance the the Torah says Isaac is asked to sacrifice um, oh yeah. Isaac Where is it Abraham Abraham sorry is asked to sacrifice Isaac in the uh, Torah and then the Quran says Abraham is asked to sacrifice Ishmael and people basically say therefore the Quran is false because it's after the Torah but they really don't account for the potential that both could coexist and in the case of the fierce vortex weapon, or the fierce vortex, a rose blanketing the region with billowing dust, I am pretty sure that I don't, there's not a explicit statement that the weapons used on Dwarka are what caused it. It may just be intentionally like that because that's just how cool reality is <clears throat> maybe not intentional although it, it really like this storm is right here like i don't i don't know what to make of it maybe I don't know. I don't know. I just need to know the Hindu scripture better around this specifically. That's the thing is I at that point I need to really get a better grip on the overall narrative of Hindu scripture. Like it's hard to even find just a simple like here are the books. Here is their sequence. Here is a cliff notes of like what's going on to just like get a bearing and here's what like the things that are deemed like most important. Not that that necessarily would be a good indicator of where to look. <laughs> <laughs> like what, where the cosmology is that would be useful for me to find so maybe maybe like the, the vortex weapon uh, <clears throat> that he receives it from the king Sal Salva Salva Sal, Salva of the Silwa Kingdom. Sal, Salwa King, King Salwa, or Salva, oh, whatever. <laughs> and 
Dude with the strength of ten elephants. Very soon perform the horse sacrifice, overthrowing all the kings of the east, the north, the west, and the south, and exacted tributes from them all. The seven children, children, all of whom became king, three Sawas and four Madras, were sons of Yashya, Vyashitasawa. Sawa kingdom is mentioned very close to Madra kingdom. Uh, yet another king attacked Dwarka. My, Something. The point is, people were involved. It wasn't just one person, one being. I don't know. So it may be that this uh, story where... Where is it? Where they, the divas and the divas and the asuras formed an alliance to churn the ocean for the nectar of immortality, which maybe just meant to be reborn again. I don't know. That doesn't make sense given that next line, but... Turning of the ocean of milk was an extensive process. Mount Mandara was uprooted and used as the churning rod. That's what, So let's see what Mandara is. the name of the mountain that is, appears where it was used as a churning rod to churn the ocean of milk. Shiva's serpent, Vasuki, offered to serve as the rope pulled on one side by a team of Asuras and on the other side by a team of Divas. It's various sacred places on the hill that are also believed to be the abode of the avatar Krishna or the destroyer of the demon called Madhu, as Madhu Sudana, or the destroyer of the demon called Madhu, who was killed by Krishna, and then covered by the Mount Mandara. Some legends identify Mandara. That's interesting. Let's check it out, that one. Mandara Parvat. I would need to get a better bearing on the on the narrative of the Hindu scriptures to have much say on this one. Wow, that's even. I guess if that's what it's believed to be associated with, 
it's interesting. The mountain has spirals around it. In this picture, there's spirals. This is much more not spiral, though. Mount Gernar. I mean, is that... Could it be another... Like, I feel like Mount Gernar is, like, every... thing. <laughs> like, Mount Miru. Mount Kalish. Mount... other things, probably that I can't remember, but just every, every cool mountain, I'm like, it's Mount Grenar. <laughs> Fits. <laughs> but to the point where there's probably multiple mountains that I feel are, uh, like within Hindu scripture that are this, that mountain, but that can't be at some point, at some point it just couldn't be like what they're describing. That's why I need a better bearing on the actual scriptures. It's just so much information. Ah, uh, if I had like an infinite vat of time, like a elixir of immortality, then that would make sense. But since I don't, <laughs> it's hard to like pick to like read the totality of it when I'm still working through other things. Although it does seem to be calling me to look into it more, given my focus on, basically entirely on it. It's almost become me just leaning on it. Dwarka existed. Here it is. See, that's it. It's just like a barely touching the scripture. <laughs> Like, well, it's kind of, it really is, it's kind of like shallograms, where shallograms are like, well, they're, they're not fossils, so, because they're not fossils, these other things are thrown into question, are they fossils? Ammonites, not fossils either. Um, other things... But besides the point, before I go into it, it's, it's a like that, though, where we've misclassified them as fossils when they're really results of geological processes that occurred while the Earth was expanding. But in, the, in a, the same way where, like, because it shows Dwarka to be the case, I really need to look at the rest to see what else it says so I can really get a better bearing so that what I'm saying is more based in a broader spectrum of considerations. <sighs> Guess I got that movie to watch. <laughs> uh, I wonder if there's any... I don't know. I'd like to find some good sources for... Uh, maybe I'll look around YouTube. Alright, till next time, I guess that's, I think that's all I have to say, or let me just balance this in general, is maybe it's related, and maybe there's some, I don't know, it depends, I just don't know enough details to pinpoint. Alright, peace out.